What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nav and Rose Show. I'm here with my compatriot partner, Crime Rose. Say hi, Ro. Hi, kid. And welcome back to the pod. It's so hard not to say podcast. I know. I know. I know. I try. Really I try. Podcasting I, try. Anymore. I know. It's video it's cast. So I do. Video you know. casting. So it welcome back to, to the video better. cast. Welcome back to the Nav and Rose Welcome show. back to the show. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah, so what's everybody? Welcome to the Nav and Rose show. I'm here at Paper <laughs> Park Row. Say hi, Ro. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. And welcome back to the Nav and Rose show. We can go welcome back to the show. Or just the, the show. End. The end. Yeah. The show. Okay. See, we, we compartmentalize we'll as short. we record because it helps us get through these things, right? <laughs> we like to talk it out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious. So, what are we talking about today, Ro? Uh, we're talking about RVs today. Ooh, RVs. RVs. I'm going to start from the small guy and work your way up to the big guy, and we're going to talk a little okay. bit about it. Yep. Yeah. So... The uh, first type we have is what we like to call a tier. And this is coming straight from Google, just so you know. So if Google. I forget one, okay. just ignore me. Right. Teardrop trailer. So uh, teardrop trailers are travel trailers known for mm -hmm. their smaller size. So they kind of look like a teardrop, right? Okay. But they're also unique um, and they're kind of in their own category so to speak so it's just small maybe one person or just two people if you have like a bed you can share with one person but it's just little tiny sure. small things mm -hmm. yeah yeah the next one is a pop-up camper so pop-up campers are mm -hmm. a great choice for families who want to camp but are looking for a little bit more of added comfort um it's also are those like you pull them yeah like, you can pull them you so attach you them yeah, so so you can't it, really. I guess when you say pop up, I'm thinking of something that you would like hook up to, like a, a truck or an SUV or something. I want to say, so folding camper trailer that includes an mm -hmm. area with pop outs for additional living space. Class B is what they're called. Okay. A class of motorhome referring to like conversion vans. So they're drivable. So so I'm assuming this is what it is, and I might be wrong. You ever see those those? Ones they're towed behind that are just like flat rectangles, but they yeah. look like they're out of mm -hmm. window. I think they yeah. and right, they, right. They pop yeah, out like that. Yeah, but you tow them. Yeah, you can't drive them. Yeah, correct. Okay. That's yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then we have a fifth wheel coupling. So oh. uh, the fifth, I believe that's what my brother has. But it's uh, fifth wheels include travel trailer, toy hauler, destination trailer, hybrid tra uh, travel trailer, pop up campers, teardrop trailer, classic. You know, there's a whole. That's a lot. There's, yeah. No, I'm sorry. They're they're listing. See, I'm trying to find it, and you're just saying the fifth fifth wheel is basically when you have the little doodah that goes <laughs> and it sits in the bed of the truck, and you or you, you tow. Oh it. yeah 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 okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so okay. it's just there's ones that you mm -hmm. that you tow behind. Yeah, yeah. or they go into the, I've seen like the ones you said like the that go in the beds of the truck that's and, like, called a truck camper are, like, this big yeah that's <laughs> like, a truck camper that's another that's the other one yeah 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 truck camper that's the other one where it literally mm -hmm. it's a little itty bitty tiny thing if it's in the bed yeah. of the truck maybe over the top yeah. of the truck but it yeah. literally is separate you yeah. can pull it off but yeah right that's, right. that's yeah. another one okay then they have sure. a trailer, so like an expandable trailer includes pop-up campers, motorized and towable tow RVs, slide-outs, mm -hmm. add-ons, increased living space, and blah, 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 blah. So, right. yeah. Um, trailers is like anything that you just tow, really. Like, sure. even if you just have a flatbed trailer and you just build right. something up on it, it just mm -hmm. considers a trailer. It's not necessarily yeah. like a motorhome, per se. Let's see. This one's interesting. So a caravan, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, there are five main types of towable RVs. There's the fifth wheel, the travel trailers, toilers, mm -hmm. pop-up trailers, and truck campers. So that's part of that kind of same Family. thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a little tiny towable RV. And then you have recreational vehicles. So there's Class C. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. and Class A, which are the drivables. The Class right. C are the ones that kind of look like a short bus with the little thing over the top of the car, right? Yeah, like you have the driver and the passenger, and then there's like a bed over. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. 
My yeah. grandparents had one of those. Yes. I'm not, I'm not well versed in the RVs because we never had one growing up. Um, but my grandparents did have one of those. Like the bed was above like the driver and the passenger. Correct. And then you had like two separate kind of like captain's chairs in the middle. Um, and then a super small kitchen and a bathroom. And that was it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's for the small. It's for the smaller. Let's say the couple that just wants yeah. something small they can travel yeah. in, but yeah. aren't mm-hmm. going to live in it per se. Right. Yeah. You mm-hmm. could. Yeah. But it's really, really, really small. Yeah, and I think the table turned into a bed, if I remember correctly, and that can. was it. Yeah. But it didn't have a couch. It just had a table that turned into a bed. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah. So technically, could comfortably sleep three. I mm-hmm. want to say comfortably. Maybe it did have a couch. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> yeah, it all depends. And then yeah. you have the beasts, the Class A motorhomes. Which so is what you bought, that's right? That's what I bought, <laughs> yes. Mine is a 36-footer. It's like a big old bus. A house on wheels. It yeah. is a house on wheels. It is flipping mm-hmm. awesome. My uncle, I just saw his while I was down there, has a 40-foot diesel with, like, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Thing is a so piece. Yeah. yeah. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wheels, I want to say. Uh, Mine has six. Has one, two, three, crazy. four, and five, six up front. But he has ten wheels. So it's it's four yes. feet longer than mine. But has extra slides. Like has three slides. Mine has one slide out. The living room where the couch and the oh, table is. Right, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He has a living room. Okay. A bedroom mm-hmm. and another slide out. Like it's just flipping enormous. But they live in that. Crazy. They've lived in that for years, like well, nine, nine yeah. plus years. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It is okay. gorgeous. I mean it is. Oh a yeah, they have nice really nice home. ones. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I just wouldn't want to drive one of those or like even trying to like park it somewhere or drive you know, I just Oh, Literally, so that's big. the kind of thing I had yeah. to download an application. It is called if I can find find it I ought to find it but there are different mm-hmm. apps it, it's called trucker path so okay it, instead of using google maps i'll use that mm-hmm. it'll tell me places mm-hmm. i can drive i put in my height oh, weight okay. all that constrictions and then sure. it tells me where i can and where i can't drive right okay so i don't get in a sticky that's situation nice. where there's like a covered yeah. bridge and i really shouldn't be right. driving over this thing with this giant eighteen thousand pound thing yeah, absolutely. And just to give you a hint, the difference between like a 36 foot like gas and a 40 foot diesel that my uncle has, mine is 18,000 pounds. His is 36,000 pounds. That's just nuts. It's insane. <laughs> a lot. His diesel could tow a truck that's towing a boat or he could, I mean, it's, it's nuts, man. That's crazy. Yeah, and they're super awesome. I mean, you the bedrooms, yeah. the toilet, the bathroom, the kitchen, mm-hmm. the dining room table, the chair, right. the couch. Right. I mean, it's it's flipping sweet. Well, but I mean, it's nothing better than driving like big, this. Yeah, you it's get the so big old cool. wheels, <laughs> the big yes. old driving steering wheel. <laughs> and coming from someone who already had tires on the RV pop the first day I bought the darn thing, yeah, I had to replace all six. They're not cheap. Nope, they're not. They're not cheap by any means whatsoever. <laughs> but yep. it is better to be safe than sorry, especially on something Agreed. like that. Because mm-hmm. God forbid it goes off the road and yep. then Right. Well, especially when you're towing your family in there, you yep. know? Exactly. You got precious cargo. I do. I very much yep. do. So yep. I'll spend a little bit of extra money, but I'm super excited. Yeah. Uncle Bud, Yay. that's my uncle that has the the, mm-hmm. the big old class A. Um yeah. gave me a bunch of pointers. RV warming presents, right? <laughs> like all this fun stuff. So I'm, yeah. I'm super excited. I mean, there are classes, for example, for the big ones that you can take. Mm-hmm. There are organizations, campgrounds. I mean, all types of things. Sure. Like yeah, AAA for RVs. It's awesome. Right. It's a yeah. whole different world, and I cannot wait to learn all about it. Yay! <laughs> well, you'll yes. definitely have to post a picture so everybody can see your new toy yes i will do that i'll definitely post that in the nav and row show for sure for sure yeah but uh, you know i might even get my brother he has a, a fifth wheel to tow behind so i'll get a picture oh. of his if he's willing to give it and then yeah. maybe we'll just have people post what type of travel vehicles mm-hmm. they have for camping out yeah sure if you have yeah. a a a suv that opens up to a tent in the back i want to see it <laughs> yeah yes. show us all your Camping fun festivities. Yes, absolutely. The vehicle <laughs> camping experiences. Yeah. That's what we want to see. Yep. So, 
do that share all that stuff we'll post something else with all that good jazz stuff and things in it but if you like this I almost said it again, Ro. <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and jack that like button right in the nose. Don't forget to tell your friends and family all about the Nab and Ro show. And as always, this uh, short show is a wrap. Till next time, kids.